Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid, CJ City. So we back with a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna be hitting you guys with 10 of the most addictive fragrances in my collection, okay? You already know I don't like to waste nobody's time, so we're jumping right into it. And also, no more 10 through one. I'm not gonna make you guys wait for the best fragrance. We're starting off with number one, and we're just going down to 10, all right? That's how we doing here on CJ City. Getting straight to it, all right? So we're starting it off with the most addictive fragrance in my collection, and we gotta go to the house house of Atelier des Ors. and this one right here is going to be called Rouge Syrah. I'm telling you this is a new acquisition of mine but I, this is the most addictive fragrance that I've come across this year. I'm telling you it's just like I gotta keep going back for more. I cannot go without smelling this fragrance every second that I'm wearing it. It's just like I keep going back. It's just a beauty all right. So let me go ahead and try to explain this fragrance. Basically you're getting notes of plum and dates in the opening okay. It kind of gives you like this fruity type of nuance and for some reason it kind of reminds you of like chocolate as well. It's almost like this chocolate covered date and also like a little you know dose of plum in here okay you're also getting helotrope in here so helotrope kind of gives you like this creamy nutty type of vibe so you are picking that up in the opening of this as well and then as this thing starts to kind of dry down you still pick up on the sweetness from the dates i don't know if anybody out there has ever tried a date shake you know they make you know shakes out of dates and then that's like the sweetener i'm telling you this really reminds me of like a shake you know that's made out of dates it's just interesting all right and then it just kind of dries down into like this vanillic type of vibe and also like a soft woody type of nuance and you're also getting like this floral type of vibe throughout the life of the fragrance but i'm telling you it's beautiful this thing also has peru balsam in it as well if you go look up the definition of that it basically explains this fragrance to perfection all right peru balsam it has a nice sweet delicate ele element to to that smell that's what this fragrance has as well you know due to that that date and that that plum that's in here you also get a little cinnamon i forgot to uh you know mention you're getting cinnamon in this fragrance as well but you get sweet kind of like a delicate kind of like ambery type of vibe as well man okay so you're getting that it also has like this fruity vanilla type of you know nuance go out there just look up prove balsam i'm telling you that definition explains this fragrance to perfection it's an addictive fragrance i just can't get enough of this fragrance i'm telling you this is hands down a sample alert all right go out there sample this fragrance you will not be disappointed it's a great, great fragrance, all right? Let's go ahead and move on to the second fragrance on this list. This is going to be the runner up here, all right? This one was almost beating this fragrance, and that's saying something, all right? This is coming from the house of Argos, and this one right here is going to be called Triumph triumph of bacchus okay now you guys can see i just got me a little sample right here right sample is all gone i already used this thing all up i ordered a full bottle and this was like two days all right i used this sample up in two days i just could not stop sniffing this stuff i had to go out there i had to order me a full bottle that full bottle is on the way so i'm telling you right now you know look out for it you know maybe like winter list any other list i'm telling you i'm gonna try to sneak this thing in as much as i can because this is a really good fragrance right here all right let me debunk something a lot of people are saying this fragrance right here is just going to remind them of carlisle okay I want to debunk that. This fragrance does not remind you of Carlisle. Not to me. It, it really doesn't remind me of Carlisle. And even if it did remind somebody of Carlisle, I don't feel like it would be redundant to own both of those fragrances, all right? Because this completely goes in a different direction, all right? In the opening of this fragrance, you're getting a nice apple accord, okay? So that's probably what, you know, a lot of people are comparing Carlisle to. You get an apple vibe in here and almost it has like this caramel type of vibe with the apple accord, okay? Other than that, that's it. You know, it doesn't really smell like Carlisle. If you ask, me it smells more like apple brandy from killian or maybe like single malt from killian something like that if you kind of mix all of that up but this thing has added notes of white peach all right so in the opening you get that apple you get that white peach you get that like caramel type of vibe as well you get all of that in the opening but right away you're greeted with tobacco you get a heavy dose of tobacco in this fragrance and you're also getting rum in the opening of this fragrance as well as it starts to dry down you start to pick up on the vanilla as well Okay, but I'm telling you, a beautiful fragrance, 
I'm, and this is super addictive. I'm telling you, I wore it two days and I went and I, I ordered me a full bottle. It's that good. You guys got to go out there. Matter of fact, this is another sample alert. If you haven't, if you're late to the party like me, go out there, try this fragrance right here. Get your nose on it. I'm telling you, it's good stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the third fragrance on this list. This one right here is coming from the house of Mason Margiela. And this one right here is just going to be called Jazz Club, man. I just got to hit you with the validation. This is an addictive fragrance right here. Ever, every time I spray this fragrance I just cannot get enough of it I need to keep sniffing it you know this fragrance right here I only spray it in the front of my nostrils I need this thing to project up to my nostrils the entire wearing all right I'm not wasting no time behind the ear behind the neck no I'm hitting myself on the neck right here right here right here I'm hitting myself on the back of the hand I like to call that the chef's treat because you can always go ahead and treat yourself to a little sniff right there so I'm doing this right in front of my nostrils so I can enjoy this fragrance it's really good in the opening I'm sure you guys know but you get like this little coconut type of vibe there is no coconut in here but you're picking up on like this coconut coconut type of element you're getting rum you're getting vanilla as well like straight in the opening and you're also getting a little tobacco as well but a beautiful fragrance addictive for sure I cannot stop smelling this thing every single time you know I spray this beautiful matter of fact this was my scent of the day I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna touch up and I'm gonna get me some more of this stuff because it's that good I'm telling you man this is an addictive fragrance, all right? Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list. And this one is coming from the house of Bond number nine. And this one right here is going to be called New York Nights, all right? This addictive stuff right here. Basically, in the opening, you're getting a nice, like, caramel type of vibe, okay? So you get caramel in the opening, and the notes, it, it's not listed in there, but to me, I'm getting, like, this vanilla banana type of vibe in the opening. It almost reminds me of, like, a banana split or something like that so you get your banana you get your vanilla and you're also getting like this caramel type of vibe and for some reason it just reminds me of like yellow or white cake or something like that i don't know why but that's just what this thing reminds me of a beautiful sweet gourmand fragrance that's extremely addictive you guys got to go out there you guys got to try this this is coming in number four on my list all right now let's go ahead and move on to the fifth fragrance right here i like to always you know just meet in the middle so i'm i'm not coming across too biased but this fragrance hands down is addictive all right and this is my fragrance from the house of Navitus parfum and this one right here is going to be called creme imperial this seems to be a hit man the women like this and the men are really feeling this fragrance right here i was thinking that this would more so be a hit for the females men could pull this off but men are really appreciating this fragrance people are tagging me on ig i appreciate it basically what you get with this is you're getting like this kind of like this creme brulee type of vibe you get sweetness from the plum you get a little iris but it's not like a waxy iris or anything like that you get that in here and then you're also getting like this kind of sweet gourmand type of vibe you guys got to go out there and try this matter of fact you know shout out to mj maria man she did a review on this fragrance i was supposed to be doing like a reaction my schedule is just super packed i, I haven't got around to doing that but i'm gonna hit you guys with a little snippet of some things that she said about this fragrance i'm telling you this is good stuff check out what mj had to say about this this is creme imperial and let me show it to you guys <sighs> I have a story i have a couple of stories to tell you guys with this one this shit is so good like it smells so it smells so good <sighs> this is my current obsession right now this is one of the like niche fragrances that i have recently tried that actually have that just have like left me speechless like uh, mm, mm, uh, i can't talk it smells so good it's creamy but it's light but it's airy it's woody it has like a vanillic tone, but it's not vanilla. It's not as dense and decadent as vanilla. I believe this one has benzoin, if I'm not mistaken. That's where that sweetness comes from, but it has that sweet, almost resinous, balmy vibe about it. It's a little bit creamy, but it still has that airy touch. It's very different, I wanna say. I'm telling you, man, you guys gotta get your nose on this. Salute to MJ, I appreciate you. I don't know if I'm going get, to get around to doing that entire reaction video, but if you guys want to check out her, you know, uh, take on this fragrance, I will leave the link down in the description below. Check out the full review that she did. She completely killed it. But Navitus Parfums, Creme Imperial, collaborating with your boy CJ City. This is some good stuff, all right? Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list. And this one right here is going to come from the house of Oud, and this one is going to be called 
keep glazed, all right? This little eggshell looking bottle right here, I hate this bottle, but I love the juice inside, super addicting, okay? So basically in the opening, you're getting just like this array of fruits, all right? You get like this lemon, mango, strawberry type of opening. I'm telling you, you pick that up. Mango, strawberry, lemon, and then you're also getting a nice dose of coconut in this fragrance right here as well, all right? It's just like a really fruity vibe, all right? As it starts to dry down, it goes into like this creamy vanilla type of vibe, but you still get like this fruity nuance to it. It doesn't go too floral. So that's the good thing about this fragrance. It is super sweet, but it doesn't go floral, all right? So I feel like if this thing would have went floral, it would have been too girly, but it doesn't. It has like that, that kind of like Zerzhov, uh, that uh, Eber Pura type of vibe or something like that. You know, it doesn't smell exactly like that, but just think of that fragrance, how super fruity. This one's super fruity, but you're getting like that lemon, that mango, that strawberry, that coconut, and then you're also getting like a nice vanilla dry down. To me, I wish they would have threw some like boozy element to it like a gin and tonic type of vibe or something like that or maybe like a vodka accord or something like that man i wish they would have threw that in here and then just had a, like a nice like fruit cocktail or something like that but you know nonetheless a really good fragrance and it's super addicting as well all right so that's coming in number six on this list let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance right here and this is going to be a little custom that i made i just talked about this fragrance but i gotta bring it back because it's super addictive and this one right here is my little special blend and and I blend uh, Blue de Chanel Parfum with uh, Mason Margiela by the fireplace, all right? I kind of feel like uh, Blue de Chanel Parfum, when it came out, they kind of teased us. They told us that it was going to have that same DNA with incense, little smoky nature. I feel like it did not have an incense uh, nature to it. It wasn't smoky at all. I feel like by the fireplace was just too smoky, didn't have enough sweetness or anything like that. So one day I just combined the two and it just worked magic. So I went out there and I bought a decant of both of them. I put 20 ml of by the fireplace in here and 30 ml of Blue de Chanel Parfum in here and I just shake this thing up right here and it's just magical all right I had one of my subscribers say hey man ain't you like killing off some of the top notes and killing off probably I'm probably killing off all type of stuff but I'm telling you what comes out is just magical so I don't care what top notes I compromise this thing is a beautiful composition I'm telling you go out there and try it mix these two together blue de Chanel parfum make sure you get parfum and uh, buy the fireplace mix those things together if you see do if you see anybody coming out with that hey your boy cj city recommended that thing first all right let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance on this list and since we're speaking of blends we're going to talk about a clone house that people do not talk about at all really and this is going to be called genre parfum and this one is called wave of musk all right a lot of people don't talk about this fragrance because a lot of people don't have patience all right in order to get his fragrances you have to join his facebook group it's called genre parfums you have to wait until he announces that the orders will be open and then you can place an order and then you can buy stuff all right i think he he opens orders maybe like once every other month or something like that so you, you gotta have patience but once the orders open you can get fragrances he started like an etsy store where he's slowly releasing stuff to the to the masses and i feel like this fragrance is on there if it's not sold out i will leave the link in the description you can check out his etsy store you guys can get this but basically i haven't even told you what it is it's a beautiful composition this is going to be be initio uh, musk therapy and also mfk gentle fluidity silver he combined those two and i'm telling you what comes out of this bottle right here is magical i i own uh musk therapy and i'm telling you i'm one offer away from selling that thing off somebody hit me with a good offer that thing is out of here this thing has replaced musk therapy from initio because it just completely kills it it smells exactly like musk therapy. It has that nice musky nature. It has like that clean musk and it also has like that floral nuance to it as well. And then um, it has that rose musk in it. And then it also adds all of the freshness from gentle fluidity silver and they, they add it in here. It's just like a fresh version of the Initio fragrance, all right? And then I feel like gentle fluidity silver already kind of had a floral note. So you take that floral note, you mix, you mix it with that, that rose musk that's in the initial fragrance i'm telling you it just makes one beautiful fragrance and i'm telling you you gotta go out there you gotta try this thing i'm about to sell my initial uh, must therapy 
due to this fragrance right here. It's that good. It's going to replace it. It just freshens things up and I still get the same composition. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the ninth fragrance on this list. And this one is coming from the house of Parfums de Marley. And this one right here is just going to be called Wojan. Super addictive right here. All right. You guys already know about it, but I just can't stop smelling this stuff every single time that I wear this fragrance right here. You basically get cinnamon, honey in the opening of this fragrance. It really just reminds me of like a glazed Cinnabon. That's what this fragrance really Really reminds me of with like vanilla in a dry down so you have cinnamon you have honey as this thing starts to dry down you start to pick up on like a little amber you get a little amber in here you get like this vanilla and tonka bean type of dry down but overall it's just beautiful just think of a, a, a cinnabon all right that's what you get with this fragrance but super addictive i just can't stop smelling it every time i wear this all right now let's go ahead and move on to the last fragrance on this list right here and this fragrance is just last by default because i always talk about this fragrance but it's just super addictive all right and you already know what it is come from the house of initio and this one right here is going to be called side effect this is extremely addictive like you go out there you put this thing on you're going to be addicted to this fragrance for sure you get a sample you know watch out because you're going to be hunting for a full bottle after a while basically what you get in the opening of this fragrance is rum you're getting cinnamon you're getting tobacco you get a little amber type of vibe and for me i don't know why but i feel like it, it kind of has like this cherry type of nuance to it and it also has like this vanilla type of dry down but overall beautiful fragrance super addictive as well all right so that's basically going to do it that's my top 10 addictive fragrances you guys got to drop those comments down below let me know if you guys have tried these fragrances and also if you guys have any recommendations let us know drop those comments down below but you already know what it is i'm cj city i'm signing out until next time i appreciate all the love peace